Hello, uh, my name is Strat, and today I'm going to be testing out some virtual machines um, and playing zombies in a virtual machine. Uh, so yesterday there was a discussion in Fleur's Discord and stream uh, in which it was mentioned that you can use a virtual machine to cheat in zombies. Uh, so I've known about this as a potential method for cheating for like three years because uh, you can use virtual machines and virtual consoles in other games to use save states. Um, but I didn't want to um, make that public because I didn't want people to know that that's possible. Um, I also didn't think it was possible. Uh, I didn't think it was a viable option because of the limitations of virtual machines. Um, a few years ago it wouldn't have been possible because uh, virtual machines basically couldn't run games particularly well but there's been advancements uh, with VMs uh, such that it's probably now possible to play zombies in a VM. Uh, now that the cat is out of the bag I might as well do some testing and then see see what happens really. Um, okay so I've got a virtual machine installed um, and basically what you can do is you can play the game um, and then you can use save states so what this will do is it saves the virtual machine it saves the RAM and it saves everything about that virtual machine in that current uh, at that current position in time so if you die in a game then you can literally just go back to that save um, so let's say like you're playing um, I don't know, Darice, and then you get a good 50 time, then you make a save, then what you can do is you can uh, play, you make a save, then you can play to around like, I don't know, 70, and then let's say you die, then you can reload your save state, so you go back to around 50, and then you just play on from there. So it's kind of like parallel universes, uh, you can just save the game at any point, and then if you die, or if you play slowly, or make a mistake or something, then you can literally just go back to the save and then just play on from there. Uh, so it means people will be able to cheat, have full gameplay, and then there's no real way of knowing uh, that someone would have done that. So I've done some testing, and basically um, when I play it in a virtual machine, the frame rate is awful. I'm playing on the lowest graphical settings and I'm getting about uh, 15 to 20 FPS. It's basically unplayable. Um, but what I haven't done is I haven't done a PCI pass through. Uh, if you were to do that, then this might run better. So someone with a better computer and the time and effort to actually do this might be able to run the game properly but unfortunately for me uh, well I say unfortunately it's probably a good thing but um, yeah I it just doesn't run very well so yeah it's not the best um, illustration if someone were to actually do this uh, you kind of there's a few requirements so you'd have to have a good PC um, you'd need either two graphics cards um, or you need one graphics card and then uh, built-in graphics into the CPU or motherboard. Uh, basically your host machine uses the graphics card uh, and you need to do a PCI pass-through in order for your virtual machine to be able to utilize the GPU otherwise the virtual machine just won't be able to use the graphics card. Uh, the last thing that's required is you have to be a cheating scumbag to do this and then claim a record or a high round or something because this is way over the line in terms of cheating. I mean, it's so bad. Um, so how do we counter this form of cheating? Um, well, in my certain testing, uh, you can see that the frame rate and the graphics were awful. So potentially um, the game might play quite badly. Um, but that's not necessarily a tell that someone is playing it in a virtual machine. They could just have a bad PC. You know, that's hard to tell. There are ways to determine whether someone's playing in a virtual machine, but that involves the player showing you the operating system. 
So if they wanted to hide that, then they're obviously just not going to show you the operating system and the, the specs at all. But there, there are indications to point out that you're in a virtual machine. Um, so one of the best ways to see that this way of cheating is not being utilized is to live stream your gameplay. Um, just play the game live and then people will see that you're not splicing gameplay. I appreciate um, some people might not want to stream or they can't stream. Uh, the next best thing is to provide full gameplay. Um, not only that, but you you should basically pl you should live stream your games and then you, you should use trackers. Uh, this points out it's the same game that's being played. So if you play with a reset tracker, then the uh, the reset tracker will just point out that it's not a spliced gameplay. Uh, you should use a timer and a health bar. So the health bar also points out that you're not using God mode at any point and your health regenerates at the same speed, stuff like that. And there was discussion as to whether the health bar is legit or not. Um, it's actually beneficial to have it, not just to improve your gameplay, but also to point out that the game is legit. Um, as I said, you can change how fast your health bar regenerates um, and also whether you have God mode. So if you play with the health bar and show that on stream, then people will know that you haven't changed the health. Uh, there's other useful trackers as well, like how many times you hit the box, um, uh, the round time, uh, your velocity, uh, yeah, stuff like that basically. And it's not only kind of cool to have that and play with that, but it also kind of legitimizes your gameplay. Uh, you should also provide full gameplay. There's absolutely no excuse for not having full gameplay in 2019. I mean, um, if it's a matter of hard drive space, then you can get a hard drive for like 10 pounds or 20 pounds. Um, if it's a matter of you, you don't have the internet, then just lower your quality, uh, lower the settings and stream it if you need to. Um, yeah, there's absolutely no excuse for not having full gameplay these days. If you're playing on PC, just use OBS. If you're playing on console, then use an Elgato or capture card or whatever you've got. I mean, you're recording gameplay anyway, so why would you not have full gameplay? So how do we solve this issue? Um, we need to basically look towards other speed running games. So this is not just a problem for zombies. This is a problem for multiple games and they've probably solved this issue already. So if we just looked at different communities and how they dealt with this issue, then we'll be able to solve it ourselves. So if we take, for instance, Super Mario World, uh, you can play that in a virtual console and you can use save states. And uh, the way to tell that someone's spliced gameplay and it's not a, a proper game in Super Mario World is you, um, you look for splices where the audio doesn't match so you you basically take the audio you put it into audacity and then you make a spectrogram and then if there's a gap then that means it's a spliced footage now that doesn't necessarily uh, work for zombies because you're going to pause the game and then you're going to stop re your recording and then start it again and then also the the virtual machine method would probably eliminate that but my point is uh, we need to look at different communities and work out how they solved this problem and then we should be able to tell who's fake and who's real. So another thing I tested was I tested a, um, a virtual console that I played on the PS3 uh, virtual console and then I managed to play Black Ops 1 on that but my god it was laggy, it was horrible, uh, there was glitches in it. It, this would be really easy to tell if someone was using this. Um, now with this console that I used, uh, there aren't actually save states on this, but I know you can get a lot of virtual consoles that have save states. So it's probably um, possible to do it in PS3 as well. Okay, so the fact that you can play in a virtual console, you can save the game and then basically just keep replaying the game until you get the perfect game. Um, that's pretty bad. I mean, that's that's really bad for the community. 
but does that mean zombies is dead? Um, well, no, of course not. I mean, 99% of players play properly. Uh, there's only you know one or two cheaters that are probably still out there. So most players will play without cheating because this game is fun. It's an enjoyable game. So we want to maintain the integrity of this this game. Um, so reading values from memory is a grey area depending on what kind of values you're looking for. Like um, tracking the reset value or a timer, that's obviously legit. Um, there's no question that that's, there's no problem with that. I think playing with a health bar, that's fine. Uh, knowing the next dog round, well you shouldn't know that to be honest. But I think players will eventually play with that. Uh, so reading from memory, that could be a grey area, but writing to memory and actually changing the gameplay and how the game actually plays is obviously not legit at all. Um, and then having save states is way over the line. Like, what's the point in even playing the game if someone's going to play it like that? Um, yeah, I mean, it really sucks. But what can you do, hey? Um, yeah, don't know. <laughs> if anyone does that, I mean, it's pretty much a segmented run. It's like a tool assisted speed run. I mean, what's the point in cheating? Because you get no personal achievement from it. I mean, Jesus Christ. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video. <laughs> All right, see ya. Oh, actually, uh, I'll just leave you with the words of simply. It was a Mario 64 speedrunner. Frame walking is of course still allowed, but now must be done with an analog stick, or if you played exclusively on keyboard or box, then you may continue doing it the way it had previously been done. As all members of the community would agree, the disadvantages from these controllers far outweigh the advantages. In regards to actually moderating the decision, while you can't 100% tell if somebody is using a remapping for a frame walk, it's basically working on an honor system. And you may think an honor system won't work, but at this point, if someone was determined enough to splice a run together, they could potentially get a run onto the leaderboard that's not legitimate. It's just that players won't do that out of respect for the game.